Hey guys, GMFD Audio. I'm Gary Dean. Um, working on the base car today, and as I've mentioned in a previous video, I have a 320 amp alternator from Ohio Generator that I need to install on this bad boy. Still waiting on wire. So today's March 1st. I ordered my wire on February 1st, so one month ago today from Sky High Car Audio, and They've mailed two packages now that are delayed, so. All right, guys, finally got this beast out of there. So this is the 70 amper, and this is the sticker I was trying to show you before. It says uh, at 6,000 RPM, it puts out 77 amps. So if we just look, they told me that I was going to need a bigger belt, which I have not confirmed yet, but actually I, I guess I just did. So they told me to get a bigger belt. Um, this pulley is a larger diameter than the new one. So um, I did go two steps up like they told me on the belt and that's it. So I don't know if that plug is the same. Oh, it is the same plug. Nice. Sweet. Um, I also like that we don't have this big ass extension here. It's just right there. So let me go ahead and try to stuff this thing back in there. I had to uh, literally take everything apart to get to it. And I'm going to have to undo this front belt to tensioner wherever that is to get the other two belts off because I have to replace the inner belt is the alternator belt. So what a pain. All right, I'm on it. Let me get back to work. All right, guys. Well, let me turn this radio down. Okay, so I got some things apart and then realized this front lower, um, where is it at? I don't even know where I put it. Oh, here it is. This front lower engine mount is bad was completely apart like that I think it goes something like that um, so I took it apart and it was in disarray so I had to go first I had to track down a store that had both of them in stock which I did and it was about 20 minutes away so I just ran and got those so I have both sides this side I need to put all this back together and I'll do the other side after I'm done with everything but I did get both sides because I don't know when they've been done and I just kind of feel be feel like being symmetrical so I just want to do both sides and at this point I've got the power steering or no this is the AC belt off I got to get the power steering belt loose which is what I'm working on um, first I'm gonna put on my gloves and I'm getting back to that I dropped a couple damn things which I can't find it's always the case so um, one of which was the bolt that holds Actually, no, I didn't lose that bolt. That bolt's here, but I lost the freaking 12 millimeter socket that I was using to get it off. It fell somewhere. So, all right, well, I've got the old alternator there, the new alternator is over there, and now I'm about to try to put it all back together. So that's where I'm at right this second, and we'll be back when I got more done. All right, people, all you people, all you three people watching this damn video, I finally got this freaking alternator installed. Pretty much everything you're looking at had to come apart. I only ended up with two nuts that I didn't use. <laughs> Um, I had to get creative on mounting the alternator. It is a Chevy alternator like I mentioned earlier. All of Ohio Generator alternators are Chevy alternator cases from what I understand. And as far as this one here, it's no exception. And they said it would mount right and he told me I would need some shims. That's not true. I literally had to make everything, but it fits. It's not on fire or smoking or acting crazy. So I'm pretty happy with this. So 
I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, another thing I did while I was under there is I adjusted uh, this coilover and literally took two inches out of uh, the ride height. It looks about right to me. Um, I put the coilovers on, I don't know, maybe uh, five or six days ago now. So the springs have sagged as much as they're gonna, I hope. I got a little bit of room left back there for a little squat. Um, for the weight that'll be in the back, I'm not gonna adjust the back anymore. But I wanted the, the front to be a little lower. Um, this is what the other side looks like. Sorry, it's all smoky. I don't know what that's about. Um, but it's not smoky, it's just kind of hazy in here. And because that front corner is uh, lower now, it raised that back corner up. But anyway, that's where we were at. And you can see, that's a solid, solid three and a quarter fingers. Now we have Uh, about one and a half finger so good I like it it's not bottomed out there's still a little travel left but it looks nice all right I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down for the night and uh, I'm gonna call that alternator job done tomorrow I'm gonna install the other engine mount when I took everything apart the engine mount literally had disintegrated so I had to go buy new ones so i put this one on when i put everything back together i still have uh to do the other one and adjust the other front coilover before i take it for an alignment i'm going to try to get that stuff done tomorrow as well as finishing up the back area putting the rear deck in getting the sound ending material all over in the uh, passenger rear done and then i'll start pulling the front apart headliner uh, again, wire didn't show up today. It's the second package that Sky High sent me. They went ahead and sent me out another package and, well, it was supposed to be delivered today and it, tracking says it was delayed again. So we're literally a month from when I originally ordered my 4 ot wire for this car and I still don't have it, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I gotta start moving forward. I'm trying to do all these other random tasks before I need it, uh, but I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna have to have it, so I might have to find it locally and have them give me a refund or something. So, all right, well, check out the next part. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me babble. Have a great day, have a great night, whatever it is to ya, and uh, we'll see you next time.